What is idolatry? Idolatry is trusting in created things rather than the creator for our hope and happiness, significance and security. Picture someone who is desperate to achieve great things in their career. Maybe they work far too many hours, they neglect important duties and ignore important people like their family. Perhaps they treat colleagues like rivals or threats and start gossiping about them. It could be that they don't get the big promotion. That would make most people sad, but for this person, anger, bitterness takes over. What's happened? They've committed idolatry. They've made, made an idol out of their career. They've looked to their achievements for significance or happiness. Now there's nothing wrong with a career, hard work, doing great things, but it must not be the ultimate source of significance and happiness. God wants us to find our significance and happiness in being created in his image, being loved by a heavenly father, being members of Jesus' church, having the power of the spirit within us. That's significance. Someone else has had a tough time. Their friends have let them down. They've been ignored. Instead of turning first to God, they turn first to, it could be all sorts of things, couldn't it? They might become a bully, because at least, wait, at least that way they'll have respect. They might turn to alcohol or drugs because it makes them happy for a while. They might say, I don't care don't need anyone, if I have me that's all I need, and they stop trying to care for others, they no longer see people in need. All of this is idolatry, turning to created things rather than the creator for hope and happiness, significance and security. We might think of idols as statues of false gods, things that people in ancient times used to do, but if you're feeling a bit hopeless, feeling low, if you're not sure that you're important or safe, where do you turn? Idols might be bad things. Someone might think that being violent means they're safe because everyone else will be scared of them. Idols might be good things that we wrongly turn into ultimate things. Your family is good. But family can't give you an eternal future, only Jesus can. Work is good, but it can't make you truly significant, for a while perhaps, but along comes a job cut or retirement and you start to think you're no longer significant. Only Jesus can give us a certain and secure significance. So idolatry is loving anything more than Jesus Christ. Idolatry, idolatry is treating anything as more important than Jesus Christ for your meaning in life, for your happiness, for your security, for your hope, for your sense of who you are. Last week we thought about what is sin. Often beneath the surface of sin you'll find an idolatry. Someone steals, that's a sin, why? Because the extra money they think will make them more secure. That's the idolatry. Someone starts gossiping. That's a sin. Because they like to be significant, the centre of attention. That's the idolatry. Because we should turn to Jesus for our security. Turn to Christ for our significance. Thinking about idolatry in this way helps us get beneath the surface. This can be a really useful way of understanding why we behave the way we do. It can help us realise, recognise that our hearts and minds so often lead us the wrong way. And so it might help us recognise that we need to turn back to the Creator. For now though, what is idolatry? Idolatry is trusting in created things rather than the creator 
for our hope and happiness, significance and security.